So I just got changed really quick out of my uniform and I'm on my way now to meet my brother-in-law and then we're gonna head up to the Blackhead Black Dome Trailhead. So it should be a good time. the trailhead and we we're about to take off some ice everywhere don't think I'm gonna put my spikes on yet but I do have them on the top of my pack because around 3,000 uh, feet that's when we start suspecting the ice to be pretty tricky Quite a bit of elevation coming up. How you doing, Jeremy? Okay. <laughs> Starting to snow now. So we're starting to get some altitude. Looks like it's gonna start snowing. Getting some fresh snow on the ground. Looks like a storm cloud moving in. So we're making our way up. No spikes needed yet, but soon. I'm guessing once we get closer to Blackhead, we'll probably need spikes. Yeah. Spike time. All right, we got the spikes on. We'll make climbing this much easier. If you go this way, you go to Blackhead, and that way to Black Dome. So we're gonna get Blackhead first, and then make our way to Black Dome. All right, so as mentioned, we're gonna be going left to Blackhead, and then uh, Black Dome on the way back. As we get close to the top, it gets to these like little steep goat trails. Is it? Of course, when we get to the view spot, a big snow cloud moves in and you can't even see the other mountain now.
usually there's a beautiful view here. But uh, this snow cloud doesn't want us to have one yet. But that can change very fast. So uh, on our way back down, maybe we'll get lucky. Looks like we're getting close to summit. <laughs> and no view. That's okay. Every time I've climbed this mountain, it's either raining or snowing with no view. And it's still my, one of my favorite climbs. You can see it clearing, clearing up a bit down in that little saddle we were in. Maybe we'll get lucky in a second here. But if this was a nice clear view, you would see black dome there. Just from there, just shoot straight up. And it's really something to see. But we gotta get to this activation. I know there's, uh, there's chasers waiting. All right, we just arrived at True Summit and now we are going to find a spot that can block some of this heavy wind that like big bursts of wind keep coming. So we're gonna find a spot where we can set up kind of out of the wind. I apologize for not showing you guys the setup, but it was way too cold and way too uncomfortable up there. We wound up just throwing some wire up with the carbon six soda beam mass and just getting right to the activation. It got very cold. Whiskey 2, Echo Hotel, 019, Summit to Summit with Mike. Whiskey Bravo 2, Foxtrot, Uniform Victor. Whipping.
my handwriting's terrible. Well, it's terrible normally, but I can't feel my fingers that well. So, all right, we're gonna go to 20 meters. Sorry, man. My hands are cold. The reason this position looks so uncomfortable is because it is. Sweden. Wait, I, I think it's Sweden. I forget. I just heard a spin station. KD2, YDN, CQ, CQ, summits on the air. KD2, YDN, CQ, CQ, summits on the air. CQ, CQ, summits on the air. KD2, YDN. Was that Kilo 5 Hotel India Papa? Thank you for the 5-9 into Massachusetts. Much appreciated. You're a 5-9 on top of Blackhead Mountain. Very cold up here. About to pack up and head to another summit. Designator is Whiskey 2, Golf Charlie 56, QSO. Roger that. Uh, well, you, uh, you're coming in and out of the QRM, but strong. 
73, thank you. KD2, YDN, Summit's on the air, QRZ. All right, so we just activated Blackhead. It's absolutely freezing. We could have brought all the stuff out and to stay warmer, but we wanted to make this a quick activation so we could get to the next spot. There, we'll probably cook some food and put out the thermal blanket and everything. So sorry, guys, it was a quick activation. I don't know how I'm going to edit all the, that uh, Morse code because I was messing up a lot. I was pretty cold. I know I botched a lot of call signs. So uh, yeah, let's get heading to the next spot. I don't think we're gonna get lucky with a view. The weather seems to be getting a little worse. Colder, windier. It's just a whiteout. It's getting hard to talk because my face is so cold. <laughs> it is beautiful up here though. Yep, still just a white out, no view. So the difference in wind and uh, just how cold it really is from being on the tippy top of the summit to just about 400, 300 feet down is insane, right? Yeah. Just came down from Blackhead and now we are off to Black Dome. All right, let's go. This one's a little more of a climb, a little more vertical. I'll try to film as much as I can, but uh, kind of running out of time. And um, WB2, VBX, listening 5-2. KD2, YDN, I'm making my way up to Black Dome. Should be up there at about, oh, 15 minutes if you want to get another summit. Sure, um, yeah, I'll be listening. I'll give you, uh, give you a call. YDN from WB2VBX. You said about 15 minutes? Roger, roger. To, uh, about 15 minutes. Okie doke. Uh, we'll be listening. Definitely less ice, less wind, so an easier, today it's an easier climb. Nice little spot. Get away from the wind and everything for a bit. Yeah, you can't see anything. I'll uh, put a picture right now. One, two, three. That's what it looks like when it's nice out. But uh, today we won't be seeing that, but that's okay. We came up for, through there. Went up that way, and now come, came up this way. All right, on to the summit. A lot of injuries that happen or rescues that need to take place are because people think, or often think rather, that these are bushes right by the rock. But if you go close to it, You'll see that this is just a huge drop off and there's actually about 30 40 feet of tree beneath this little top that we're seeing kd2 ydn from wb2 bbx copy you five by nine also on seven kilometers if you'd like i can also give you contact uh, down on 10 meters all right we just made it to the summit of black dome it is dramatically nicer here um we're out of the wind for the most part it's not nearly as cold I'll spend a little more time activating, so I'm sorry, chasers, for the sloppy code and the um, quick activation on Blackhead, but it was just brutal up there. Um, this video doesn't do it justice. We were freezing, 
and uh, poor Jeremy, he's not even playing radio. He's just freezing up here, so. Here are some photos Mike took on the summit that day.
KD2, RDN, Cohen, CQ, CQ, summits on the air. This is KD2, RDN, CQ, CQ, summits on the air. Kilo, Charlie 2, Bravo, Papa, Papa. I have you 5-9, QSO. Uh, where was your location? And you at GT003, is that correct? Whiskey 2, Golf Charlie 003. Yep, it's uh, Black Dome Mountain. Roger, Roger. I'm about to log it in now. 73, good luck out there. 73, thank you very much. This is KD2, YDN, calling CQ for Summits on the Air. November 2, Uniform November Lima, QSO. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Name is Brian. Roger, Roger. Call sign here is KD2, YDN, Kilo, Delta 2, Yankee, Delta November, QSO. I am activating Black Dome, Whiskey 2, Golf Charlie, 003, and uh, I just need a spot, really. I can't get any service up here, and I keep getting stepped on uh, with the QRP rig. Almost completely tore down the station without showing you. Um, Jeremy's been cooking over there. Sorry, I'm like shivering right now. I was bundled up there. Uh, I had my NFED here with the coax going to the station. This is why I love the KX2. I had a uh, wire just going through these trees and, um, you know, just threw an arborist throw line over a bunch of limbs and tied it off to that stump down there. And uh, 599 in Germany, so it worked.
so thankful Jeremy decided to come with me. He uh, was cooking some hot meals and I got a hot cup of coffee before we hit the trail and uh, head back. Mike, Whiskey Bravo 2 Fox Chart Uniform Victor just texted me as I'm filming this. He says, I hope you're on your way down. It is getting very windy. And by the time you're watching this, Mike, you already know I was freezing now, so 